expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. You are listening to Living Letter Radio. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. Living Lighter provides a revolutionary way to address what's truly holding you back. We have the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time, be living lighter. Join us now for a Living Lighter experience. This is Living Lighter Radio, and I'm Patricia. I'm here with my husband, Jason. Today, we're talking about something we have received so many questions about, and that is changing the world. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, so many people are so upset about the state of the world today and our country, meaning the state of our country as well. What is the problem? Well, and we're not going to talk about, we're not going to list all the problems because- Well, there's so many. They're they're kind of obvious- um, but we you know, many people talk about root causes and we have to get to the root causes. Mm-hmm. But from our perspective as intuitives, um, most of those root ca- causes aren't the root. Not only do we see the root cause as intuitives, but we see that there are many misconceptions about how the world works that just make problems worse. Well, okay. So what is the root cause then? Here it is. You ready? It's being sick blocked or dysfunctional in our foundational part. And that foundational part is what we call essence. Some people call soul. It's negative energy that makes our essence dysfunctional. Okay, that makes sense, but it's still pretty vague. Um, How can we understand all of this better? Okay. Um, You know, if I tell someone that your, your essence is blocked, they look at me blank. I don't, there's nothing, you know, you can't do anything about that. So (laughs) another way to view that is that programming creates negative energy in your essence. And it's, and programming is much easier to understand. When you program yourself, you create negative energy in your essence. Negative energy in your essence creates emotions that are off, exaggerated, And sometimes so intense that objectivity is not possible. So, okay. So what do you mean objectivity isn't possible? Nobody goes to war because of objectivity. (laughs) Yeah. We go to war because of fear, hate, anger that keeps us from resolving our differences. Prejudice um, that creates racial divides, poverty, religious conflicts, inequality, come from greed, hate, anger, fear, and maybe some other emotions. Well, I'm going to add jealousy. Yes, jealousy. Those are all emotions that are out of control. Mm -hmm. Climate change and destruction of our nature comes from selfishness, greed, fear of loss, displaced anger, and a whole bunch of others. All these things are because emotions are out of control, and that's what's creating the problem. Okay, you mean that out-of-control emotions is creating the problems and programming is creating out-of-control emotions. Exactly. Hmm. Programming suppresses our essence and creates negative emotions that build up, and that build up creates emotions that are too strong. Huh. You know, um, I know that we did a two-part series on discovery where we talked about that 80% that you were just referring to can you um the 80 percent is that buildup of negative emotions ah. we saw um and we, we talked at length about this but we saw that everybody has 80 percent of their um 
their essence is blocked with these negative emotions. Okay. That's why we can't ever come together. That's why we can't talk things through. That's mm. why there can't be any objectivity because our emotions are out of control. Okay. Well, all right, Jason. So how about defining programming, please? Okay. Um, and we've talked about this also. Sure. You know, we've, got, we've done some shows about this. But programming is where you force yourself trick yourself, um, manipulate, manipulate, seduce yourself to do things. Mm -hmm. When we're designed to do things, to have a natural motivation, and if we struggle to do that, so, so that's programming. When you do it that way, the, the opposite of that is the ecosystem approach where you, if you go to do something, you clear the energy that's keeping you from doing it. You don't have to trick yourself. You don't have to force yourself. Um, my classic example is, um, you know, you have to do your programming or you have, uh, you have to do your homework or you, or maybe you're as an adult, you have a project you have to do and you don't want to do it. Okay. Instead of forcing yourself, instead of saying, um, um, seducing yourself and saying, well, if, if you do this part, then maybe you can have some ice cream tonight, you know, t- talking to yourself. Okay. <laughs> you know, with <laughs> that's, that's seduction. You, okay. you can trick yourself and say, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to figure out a way that I have to wake up in the morning by putting out three different alarm clocks. You know, you, if you have problems, problems getting up, clear the negative energy that keeps you from getting up when you're supposed to just naturally. Well, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to you to, I don't want to do, you know, my homework or I don't want to, you know, I struggle to even start to do this project. One of the things that we've seen not only for ourselves, but many, 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 many others, is that when we use the ecosystem approach and we remove negative energies that's blocking our essence, and by the way, all of us have essence. We The, the essence of who we are is who we are, but because there's so much negative energy, many, many, many of us don't know who we are. Well, and the truth is that essence is is truly invisible to us. Yes. And most of us it's it wasn't we we weren't designed to um use our essence in a in a conscious way, but because it's been so blocked, we have to go back, we see as intuitives that we have to go back and fix all that negative energy that's there, that's stuck there, that's blocking it, making it dysfunctional creating out of control emotions. See, here's here's the thing that people don't understand. If your essence wasn't blocked, you wouldn't have to be uh, programmed to um, get your homework done. Get your homework done. Well, you know, you still may not want to do your homework, but you might you find a more more organic way of doing it. I'm thinking about uh, prejudice for example. Okay. People aren't naturally prejudiced. Mm. Um, people aren't, um, people naturally know that our environment is important and we want to, um, maintain it. We want to keep it. We want to, um, make it, um, healthy so that we can be healthy. We just, we don't have to be told that we don't have to be taught that we just get that at, at our, at the level of our essence. Um, we also understand at the level of our essence that we're all one. That just because that person over there is brown and that person over there is black and and that person over there has a disability, our essence doesn't care. We're <laughs> we're programmed. We're taught those things. We're not. We we don't um, get those because they just came with us. And programming enslaves people. Um, it can control you. And the people who control the programming can control the world. And oh my gosh. You know, no conspiracy theorists here, but, you know, um, on a very superficial level, if you're programmed to believe that um, a certain laundry project product is the best thing, you know, if your mother uses a certain laundry product, then you have to use this laundry product. You don't think about, well, is this the best laundry product for me? You just kind of were programmed that way. So it just makes sense. Well, okay. And I want to jump in and say, when we use the ecosystem approach, one of the things that you and I know, not only personally, but we've seen it, you know, for our clients as well, is that when you use it and remove negative energies from your essence, we gain the ability, the clarity that we all are actually looking for so we can have solutions 
to whether the laundry product is the best or whether um, I should be angry and hurt or bitter um, about the color of someone's skin. Exactly. It's, it's phenomenal, actually. Our essence is the most, is the most effective um, problem-solving mechanism that we have. Yes. And it, it does it in a way that's always unique to you. Yes, yes, yes. You know, this is the part where removing negative energy um, from the programming has to be done individually. Mm. There's, not, mm-hmm. uh, there's not a program that we can do in the world to get um, to clear everyone of these negative emotions. It, it's, these negative emotions are unique to you. And we all start, if we start with us, that's the way to do it. And let me give you a quick example about that. Okay. For some person, um, their expression of that negative um, um, energy in their essence may be anger. And they go out and want to hurt people. They want to get revenge. They want to um, get even. Mm-hmm. For another person right next to them, it could be shame. Where instead of going out and hurting people, they they feel that uh, negative energy by saying, "I'm not good enough." And they I'm, turn it on themselves. They turn it on themselves. Yes. And there's and there's an infinite variations of of those things that come from this negative energy. So you can't do a one size fits all. But the ecosystem approach is never one size fits all, and it always it always works for this. I love that. I love that. Jason, tell me what the key points of this um seg uh, this segment is. Dysfunction in our individual and collective essence is the root problem. Hmm. The problems in the world can be traced to out-of-control emotions that come from dysfunction in our individual essence and our collective essence. Okay. Out-of-control emotions come from programming, and programming is the standard today of how we learn and how we grow and develop. Okay. The ecosystem approach heals the essence and um, um, intense motion, uh, emotions and negative, um, um, intense, intense emotions and, and the negative effects of programming. So the ecosystem approach heals those things and, and get, gets rid of them um, connected to our essence. Okay. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to be talking about some of the major misconceptions that keeps the world stuck. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is Debbie Pokornik with a break free parenting tip. Parenting will always be a bit of a mystery. Who knows why some parenting ideas work and others do not? Or why some kids seem to succeed despite family setbacks, while others have so much given to them and yet fail to thrive? The one thing we do know is that once you have a child, you'll never be quite the same again. Awe-inspiring emotions like overwhelming love, extreme guilt, intense frustration, and incredible joy make this job second to none. Breaking free of parenting pressures means recognizing the pieces that make us unique, the pieces that we carry with us from the past, and the pieces that are influenced by the society we live in. When we can pick and choose which pieces we want to keep around and change the others to align with our inner wisdom, we will feel more self-assured in our role as a parent. For information and to work with Debbie, visit EmpoweringNRG.com. If you have a sense that you are meant for more... Join Heather Allison every third Tuesday at noon Pacific as she explores an ancient, forgotten energy within us and helps us access our original archetypal blueprint. The Golden Path will help you remember the key to unlocking your life, love, success, and magic you were meant for. A key to unlocking your Golden Path. Visit heather-allison.com. Are you ready to create a life you'll really love? Then you'll want to tune in to the hit show Life Design Radio from adversity to awesome with Susan DiLorenzo. Live each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. No matter where you are in your adversity story, Life Design Radio has got you covered. Get ready to feel inspired, enlightened, and motivated. For more information about working with Susan, visit SusanDiLorenzo.com. To 
find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. We're talking about changing the world. And in this segment, some of the major misconceptions that keep us stuck and the world stuck. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. So, Jason, what are the major or some of the major misconceptions or beliefs that keep the world from evolving and moving forward? One of the biggest misconceptions is that we live in a free will zone. Hmm. Earth is a free will zone. Okay, so, so why is that so important? There are many ideas that contradict free will. For example that this idea that the light will always overcome darkness. No, Mm. it doesn't work that way. Human beings have to use their tools. um, And and we've created the ecosystem approach, which is your tool to overcome darkness or negative energy. Mm. You know, I I was just thinking about this, Patricia, how many, how many clients have we had over the years come to us and say, well, um, they're they're dealing with a very, very toxic, negative, almost evil relationship. And they're saying, well, you know, I know that that um, that that won't prevail. That that person won't prevail. You know, um, yeah, like someone like a, a boss or something like that. Yes, Is that what you, okay. Yes. Okay. That that the light will always overcome the dark, but they do it in a passive way. They they just expect it to happen. Mm. And usually, what we've observed, uh, you know, using um, our clarity, is that that's just the opposite of what happens. Usually, when people don't take action. Um, the negative energy overcomes the light energy. Yes. It happens all the time. Yes. So we have to, the light has a lot of power, but we have to know how to use it and and act. Okay. And uh, here's another one that's a, a big misconception. A lot of people are, t- are have been talking about this energy, energy that's organizing on the other side in the non-physical dimension, in the spiritual dimension, what, what's, what's known as a spiritual dimension or, you know, another dimension that they're organizing to, to basically save the world. Well, people say, yeah, so, I, so you know, I see that happening and it almost makes people think, relax and say, oh, I don't have to do anything. There's not, <laughs> yeah, we don't have to do anything here. Um, I, I know they'll, I've heard a lot of talk from Christians and other religions about the rapture, the second coming. Okay. And that focus on that um, kind of gives a tacit permission to say, oh, I can just, I can just wait for it, you know. I don't, I don't have to do anything. I, I can just wait, and everything will be okay. It, it wasn't designed that way because this free will zone was actually a great gift from, from the Creator. That's what we see. That it's a, it was a gift from the Creator that allows us to learn in this free will zone by exercising our um, Creator given talents and power to overcome this negative energy on our own. Mm. And again, that's what we, that's how we design the, the ecosystem approach. It doesn't do it to you. You have to use these tools that we teach you to remove this negative energy. You know, in the, in the, in the grand scheme of things, if you're waiting for the end of the world, I guarantee you it's, it's a, it's a bazillion of a nanosection, nanosection, um, um, no, no, second, second, <laughs> that that a hundred or a thousand years is is nothing. Meaning, it's just like a blink of an eye. Yes. Okay. Um, for okay. the for the world the way it is. Okay. Okay. Here, here's the other point that's really important. Okay. If you're you know eighty, ninety, if you're older and you're listening to this, and you say, well, okay, I get it. Negative energy. I need to get negative energy that's attached to me. But I'm old. 
So, you know, so <laughs> why do I, don't, I have to do it now? Right. Yeah. But here's the thing. It's that, not going to matter for me. That negative energy stays with you. Well, okay. What do you mean? Your essence doesn't ever die. It's an energy. Mm-hmm. It go it it you know when you when your physical body is dead, this energy goes with you, and this negative energy stays with you. We see this all the time. Um, people believe this is one of the misconceptions that there's a reset. So you, so you um m- you move away from your physical body, and that you come back in, and that as a baby. It's it's clean. It's clear. There's not there's no negative energy. Mm. That's not what we see at all. Right. I wish I could say it was different, but that's not what we see. We see that negative energy come in. That eighty percent come in with with babies, with fetuses um, um, that aren't even born yet. That negative energy is still there, right. and that's that's one of the driving reasons for childhood diseases and cancer is that negative energy that was already there. Yes. Yes. So, Jason, what are some of the other misconceptions? One of the, uh, another big one is focusing on the wrong things. Hmm, what do you mean? You know, programming creates negative energy and no one is removing that negative energy specifically, constantly, and consistently. Okay. Focusing on the wrong things and problems using scarce light energy and lots of physical energy on the wrong things creates a, a whack-a-mole type of uh, approach to the world's problems. We did a whole show on whack-a-mole, and that's where you, you, you fix one problem, but then two other problems pop up over here. Right. And that's because we're not getting to the root. We're getting uh. to the we're – we're, we're, we're dealing with some of the manifestations of those problems, but we're not actually getting to the root of the problem, which is negative energy. Well, okay, so – the root, if the root is negative energy, which by the way, I happen to know that it is too. What about the grassroots movements? You know, we hear about, we, especially in politics right now, we're going to create a grassroots movement. And I am very much in favor of that. I think it's great. But here's what happens. And we see this. First of all, major misconceptions. Negative energy is always on both sides of any political issue. Or any issue. Uh, any issue. Okay. Um, it's on both sides when two people fight. Mm-hmm. There's not, there's never, we've never seen this. Where what, what do you mean? I'm always right. <laughs> That's negative energy, sweetie. <laughs> you know, I was just giving an example, everyone. <laughs> you know, when two people fight, there's always negative energy on both sides. Exactly. And, and when we work with couples or we, you know, we look even at individually, individually, we see that, oh, the problem is with the other person. Right. They're doing all these things. Blah, oh, blah, blah. yeah. That's that's one of the biggest ones. And yes. and they don't see the negative energy attached to themselves. Mm-hmm. When it's, when we come to grassroots root movements, you know, people are coming together. I want to I want to um, save the whale. I want to um, um, overcome the darkness in our politics. I want to. Um, um, create, um, you know, I, w- I want to counter the effects of climate change. Right. There's nothing wrong with those, but what happens is that eventually when those people come together, they start to fight amongst themselves. Mm-hmm. There, yeah. The, there's petty bickering, jealousies, resentments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They start to form these these subgroups that fight amongst each other. And without changing the energy, people continue to compete, fight, create rivals for, rivalries and movements that disintegrate. Okay. So wait a minute. I get all that. But I want to say, as long as people ignore the negative energy, am I correct? Everything's going to stay the same? Yes. Hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be, I always want to be optimistic. But what we see is because we don't take an energy approach to our problems, we take a, a, a you know, a strategy and technique approach to our problems. We're not getting the negative energy Mm -hmm. and that negative energy being soul sick, um, uncovering your individual essence is very healing. Right. Um, but we're not doing that. We're doing other things. We're, we're so distracted and we always miss the real root of the problem, which is the negative energy. That's blocking your essence. And there we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, all right. Um, 
you know, is there any other misconceptions that we need to discuss right now? I know there's a million of them, but one of them, and we've kind of alluded to this already, is that a lot of people are offering solutions to the world's problems, but they're usually more programming. So if, if people say, oh, there's all these people that are denying climate change, then we need to um, teach people about the environment. We need to teach people about ecology. But teaching, especially the way that we do it, is a form of programming. And again, remember, you can't replace bad programming with good programming and, ha- and expect it to make a difference because you, then you're still programmed. And even if you have good programming, um, um, as things change, you won't know how to act until you wait to be reprogrammed one more time. And I'm going to go back to what I said in the first segment about the clarity. When we use the ecosystem approach, what happens is, is we gain clarity about whatever the issue is, whatever we're talking about, whatever we're working on. And when we gain clarity, the result or the uh, in the middle result is we can see solutions that we could never see before. So if and you do it's that, phenomenal. It is. And if you do that individually, yes. then people are going to look to you and say, hey, you know, um, I want what she's having, or I want, you know, I want, I want that. (laughs) Yes, exactly. So, um, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? The truth of free will, um, requires that we take action by removing negative energy. Mm -hmm. Negative energy is always on both sides of every issue. We have to remove the negative energy. We can't wait to be saved or rescued by some sort of, um, spiritual forces, we need to remove that negative energy and take charge of it in our life here. Okay. And the fix for whack-a-mole solutions in the world is to use the ecosystem approach to remove the negative energies. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about the specifics that you can do for yourself and the world to make it better. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. What is a brilliant culture and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Have you ever wondered if there's a way to heal the deep? hidden inner issues, wounds, beliefs, and traumas. The journey into spiritual healing engages people in all areas of their lives to heal themselves and others. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Dr. Jaffe brings conversations of healing of body, mind, and spirit as he merges the excellence of traditional medicine with the beauty of spiritual healing. For more information about Dr. Jaffe, this show, and his work, visit drjaffemd.com. Disease, one of the most dreaded words in our vocabulary. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know traditionally we have viewed disease as a degenerative process? Disease is better understood when we view it as disease in the human body. Disease means without ease. Health is not merely the absence of disease. It's when every part of the body works together effortlessly relaxed and at ease. It's that relaxed state that lets energy flow in waves through and around the entire body. Every organ has an electrical charge, and when overcharged or undercharged, disease occurs. And it is an effort to go through our day. We are able to determine the exact disease of the body and design a specific solution to correct the nutritional imbalance. Contact us at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. And visit us at maryjanemack.com. It's time to get your life back on Burn Bright Today with Jennifer Marcinelli. Tune in each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Learn to move from the darkness of burning out to the light of burning bright. Jennifer is redefining stress and the energetic causes of burnout, shining a light 
on process to get your life back. For more information about Jennifer and her work, visit burnbrighttoday.com. Darcy Pariso is your connection to spirit, energy, and healing. You can meet Darcy in person at upcoming events throughout Seattle. Do you have questions about your animal companions, yourself, or do you desire to communicate with loved ones on the other side? Darcy will connect you and get answers. Darcy can also work with energy healing to help you and your animal companions feel more balanced and recharged. Visit DarcyPariso.com slash events. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia, and we're talking about the specifics that you can do for yourself and the world to change it in a positive way. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason. So what can I do if I want to change the world? You always have to start with yourself. Hmm. Most of us naturally gravitate to those big solutions, you know, grassroots movements, uh, giving money for the political, giving money for ecology, you know, but you have to heal yourself first. Hmm. You have to heal your essence. And um, I know for us, that's going to be a lifelong um, project. Um, we're going to be doing it for the rest of our lives, but that's okay. And it doesn't mean you can't do anything else while you're healing your essence, but you always have to start with yourself first. And maybe you're doing something of real value in the world, or maybe you're just doing something that you perceive that has little or no value. You always have to start with yourself. So why do you have to start with yourself? What if I want to do something big? Removing the negative energy for yourself creates the clarity, knowing, and understanding of negative energy and how it works. Mm. Without that knowing, you're going to, you and other people are going to sabotage whatever you're trying to do, whatever big thing you're trying to do. Okay. Um, so, but it kind of sounds, well, hopeless because, you know, it's going to take too long. I get that. But I also see huge amounts, I mean, not just little, but huge amounts of time, energy spent on development, self-improvement, money, um, and making sure that bad things don't happen. And all those things really don't remove the negative energy. Hmm. So all these things that don't remove negative energy are just um, quick fixes. Okay. But the ecosystem approach was designed so you can apply it to all parts of your life in the way that it's most effective. It applies to your health. It applies to your well-being. It applies to your relationships. It applies to your work and money. It applies to every single problem you can ever ever think of. And it also, um, uh, you know, applies to any project that you're doing. But if you're trying to apply it to a project and you're not applying it to yourself, that's a form of sabotage. Yes. You know, most people, it is. it, it does sound kind of hopeless, and we're used to quick fixes. You know, we're going to come together as a movement and we're going to do all these things. But even um, lots of people removing a little bit of energy can really make a difference in the world. Huge difference, yes. It, it really would. Yes, yes, and yes. I know that once you start removing negative energy for yourself, mm-hmm. you're, you're going to want to keep going. Because when people start doing it for themselves, they say, oh my gosh, this feels so good. Well, and I want I want to jump in and say, when we, we remove negative energy from our essence, there's a part of us that starts to feel alive. Yes. And, and, and you know how when you're feeling, oh, ho, hum, and, and all of the, the oh my gosh, uh, this is too much and all of that's going on. When you start removing negative energy, there's an alive that starts to happen. And the truth is, you want more of it. Exactly. If you've ever, you know, if you've ever gone to the mall <laughs> and you look at everybody's eyes and, mm. and this isn't to say you shouldn't ever go to the mall, but there's the, the people, when you look at large groups of people on a, 
uh, on a normal basis, they're, they're, there's that, that brightness in their eyes. It's not there. Yes. It's dull. Mm-hmm. And the best thing you could do is work on yourself first. And hopefully then people will say, oh, yeah, what are you doing? Yes. You know, well, 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 you know we've had clients tell us this. You know, they, um, I, I remember recently there was a client told, told us who um, she's been working with for a long time. And um, she saw a friend who she r- rarely sees every three, four years. And this woman is, is older, but she, one of her friends came up and said, oh, my gosh. Every time I, every time I see you, you look younger. Hmm. You know, this is the ultimate uh, um, um, Botox age, commercial. What? Botox or uh, <laughs> uh, fountain of youth. Yes, um, yes, you know, yes, yes. is clearing the negative energy. There's nothing that ages you or makes you tired or heavy, other more than negative energy. Right, 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 right. So, all right. So, I know that there's a couple more things that you really want to say about this, Jason. Well, you know. Um, Removing negative energy, if you want to do, you know, a lot of, a lot of the people that listen to this show aren't people who, um, um, you're the best of the best. The people that listen to Transformation Talk Radio in general are the best of the best. And they know, they have hope for the future. And they're actively involved in some form of development or self-improvement. Mm-hmm. And, oh my gosh, this is the best thing you could possibly do. And one of the things that we talk about all the time is the importance of clearing specifically, constantly, and consistently. And people don't get that. Um, a lot of people who are listening do some sort of energy work. It's, um, it's pretty common. But a lot of times what makes what's so amazing about the ecosystem approach, first of all, is the spe- being able to be specific. Jason, give them an example. Okay, so um, um, imagine... Um, you get up in the morning and you're feeling, oh, ho-hum. So you ground yourself. You know, grounding is very nonspecific. Maybe you feel, get up and feeling ho-hum so you clear that anger you had uh, about um, the little argument you had with um, your spouse. Maybe you, you're you feeling ho-hum because you don't want to go to work because you, you're feeling like, you know. You'd rather listen to Transformation Talk Radio and Living Lighter. Exactly. Okay. Um, so you clear your disappointment about going to work. Mm-hmm. That's much more specific. And ah. being that specific is, is more laser-like. The other thing is that, you know, we don't talk very much about this, but the constant and consistent, yes. the minute you stop, there's so much negative energy in the world. There's so much negative energy in your essence that it, you feel good for a few minutes, a few seconds, a few hours. You know, the more you clear, the longer it is. Right. And, but then it starts to say, oh, you know, with new clients, we have this all the time. They feel great. We, we work on them. They feel great. And then they say it, um, um, it um, isn't working anymore. It isn't working anymore or it stopped working or whatever. Well, that's not technically true. That's not what we see. Right. But because you're not constantly doing it, that negative energy just comes back around because there's so much of it. Right. And then consistently, I mean, if, um, there's so much negative energy attached to your essence and in the world that if you're not consistently removing that negative energy, um, it catches up and you, you feel that dullness one more time. Right. And, you know, we, you know, Patricia and I, we, we do what we suggest. We we're, do. We're always um, clearing specifically. You know, we, we, we go on walks twice a day and we're always clearing during those walks. Right. Um, we're clearing during the day, you know, we, we drive, we drive someplace and we do clearing. We're always doing it. Exactly. It's, and it's, it's, it's a, the bottom line is, is that constantly specifically and consistently. Um, and it, it might sound like we're being obsessive, but I got to tell you a lot of the obsessive things that were happening before are not happening now. I've always spent a lot of time on self-improvement. And this is actually is far more effective and efficient than it ever has been before. But there's one more point that I want to make. Okay. You know, um, Joe Biden, he's a, he's a Democratic uh, candidate for the pre- for presidency, has said he's fighting for the soul of America. And I like that term because it's, I know as an intuitive, it's exactly right. But the problem is, is that I also know that he doesn't have any idea. Um, how to do it. How to do it. 
Okay. And, and what, what the soul of America needs, obviously he thinks if you vote for him, <laughs> then, then, and he, be, you know, becomes a president. It'll automatically happen, and unfortunately, that's not the case. Well, I, I just want to say, Joe, if you're listening, <laughs> uh, I, I, I just have to say it. You know, yeah. Joe, if you're listening, do me a favor, give me a call, send me an email. Um, I would really, um, I would love to help out with this because I too want to help save the soul of America. Well, and here's, and the world. Here's the big thing. And again, Joe, if you're listening, you can't start with everybody else. You have to start with yourself first. Exactly. You so can't, you can't save the soul of America without saving, without removing that negative energy in your own essence and first. Exactly. Joe, give me a call. I'd love it. <laughs> All right, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? You always have to um, start with yourself when it comes to changing the world. Okay. Understanding how negative works, negative energy works is necessary to change the world and make progress. Mm -hmm. Effective leadership is necessary to change the world. And those leaders need to be evolved, of course, by using the ecosystem approach. Give me a call, Joe. Clearing specifically, constantly, and consistently is essential to changing the world. Okay. So... In this segment, we always talk about how to how we use energy to change yourself and the world. So, Jason, explain um, about the um, the work that we do. So, we're going to do this now, so that in the next segment, we're going to actually help you start to change yourself mm -hmm. and the world in general. So, set your intention as you do this, and wait, for, you know, do this in the next segment. But set your intention to help others as well as yourself. Okay. But the way you do it is use your imagination. Um, when we say, and to eliminate, um, and then we say on an emotion or veils and illusions or whatever we say, gather those all up, exhale them into a trash can. If there's no trash can around, exhale it into an imaginary trash can that you have in your mild, mind's eye. Um, don't worry about the trash can. We'll empty it. And then we go on to the next emotion. Okay. And then we're going to activate life force. Life force is the most amazing energy that any of us have access to. And what we do is we activate life force and we call upon it. It comes in through the top of our head, goes all the way down our torso and our arms, our legs, and then take it to the tips of your toes, turn it around and let that life force positive energy remove any negative energy that's left over because we all know how much negative energy there is. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to change the energy so we can change the world and make your world better. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Do you want the knowledge and wisdom to understand where spirituality, science, and psychology intersect? Then join the Karmic Path Radio Show with Tina and Laura on TransformationTalkRadio.com, Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. Follow this charmingly, disarmingly dynamic duo as they explore how psychic ability, spirituality, and karmic law tie together. For more information on Tina, Laura, and their groundbreaking work, visit TheKarmicPath.com. Celebrating 40 years of peace through music. 
Dr. Pat Basili is thrilled to be partnering with Dudley and Dean Evanson, co-founders of Soundings of the Planet. Music and video created for peace and healing. Immerse yourself in benefits of music for meditation, relaxation, and stress reduction. This peaceful and meditative form of music is available for free on all streaming services. Search Dean Evanson on Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, and iTunes, or visit soundings.com for more information. Are you ready to finally feel empowered and knowledgeable in your political stance? Let Marsha Padilla Goad educate you on exactly how important grassroots advocacy is in a relatable way to all parties and all perspectives. Tune in to Grassroots Advocacy Radio with Marsha every first Tuesday of the month at 12 p.m. Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more, visit DynamicsInPublicAffairs.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. We're here. We're going to change the energy so we can change the world and make your world better. So, Jason, let's get started. Here we go. And remember, set your intention not only to help yourself, but to other people. Here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the hate, anger, and rage in me and in those around me. Take a breath, blow it into that trash can. And again, if if we clear something that that you don't think applies to you, you can clear it anyways, it won't hurt you. There you go. Um, And to eliminate the fear, hurt, and depression in me and those around me. Mm. Take a breath. And to eliminate the anger and the need for revenge because of real or perceived wrongs against me and or others. Take a nice breath from the tips of your toes. Take a breath. Let go of that negative energy. Blow it out. Put it in the trash can. And again, this applies to your, you know, if, if it applies to you, clear it anyways, but apply, apply it to everybody around you. Here we go. The need by anyone to use guns, bombs, or even false and exaggerated rhetoric to get revenge. Take a breath. Everyone take another breath on that one. That's really huge. It really does apply to the world today. Take a breath. And to eliminate um, how much that last clearing really affects how we all feel and all the hurt about all of it in our hearts. Take a breath. Blow it out. And to eliminate the barrier so I can see that the answer is always to start with me first. Take a breath. Yes. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see that I have to clear my negative energy first, which we all have, but so that I can clear my negative energy first. Take a breath. And to eliminate um, the veils and illusions so I can see that I probably still have anger, need for revenge, resentments, and bitterness, even though those are uncomfortable for me or I don't want to acknowledge them. Mm. Take a breath. And to eliminate the blocks to my courage that's keeping me from letting go of those negative energies so I can know I'm doing something positive, not only for me, but the world around me. Take a breath. 
and to eliminate the false belief and the shame that says, if I have these negative energies of anger, hate, resentment, bitterness, that there's something that I'm bad. When the mm. truth is, it's just an energy. It's, it doesn't make me bad. And I just have to clear it. There Take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see negative energy in the world and in me. And I can see that it's a, the root of the problem and get rid of it. Clear it. Take a nice breath. Easy, easy on yourselves here. Blow it out. And to eliminate um, my sadness, hurt, disappointment, and depression because everything around me feels like it's crumbling and disintegrating. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see that all the problems come, all the problems around me come from negative energy and not only need to be cleared, but can be cleared. Take a breath. Blow it out. Easy. And this is, this is, this is for me. If you can join me if you want and to eliminate my bitterness and resentment um, for all those other people on the other side who are so stupid <laughs> to believe what they're, what, what they're hearing. Take a breath. And to eliminate all of my worries and anxieties about the state of the world. Take a breath. Jason, should we activate life force? Let's do it. All right, here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force so I can have the confidence to know all my problems are from negative energy and can be cleared. Pull in all that life force energy. Let it go all the way down your body. Tips of your toes, turn it around. Any negative energy that's kind of hanging out, blow it out into that garbage can and to activate life force so I can have the confidence that I can make a difference mm. by removing the negative energy for myself. That's huge, everyone. Take a breath. Pull, pull in that life force energy. Blow it out. And to activate life force so I can trust that taking an energy approach to solving my problems creates profound change. Excellent. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy, have great health, um, so I can love and be peaceful and have harmony not only within but on the outside as well. And so that I can laugh and love and actually enjoy my life starting right now, today. Pull in that life force energy. Take a breath. Let it go all the way through your body. Blow out any negative energy that's still hanging around. <sighs> Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? This is a biggie. We're going to talk about misinformation. What? What do you believe? Who do you believe? Um, is it necessary to know all the facts to make a judgment? Can you see other people's credibility? Hmm. We see that our collective ability to judge character and credibility is at an all-time low. Mm. But there are things that we can do, and we're going to talk about those things um, in our next show. Okay. If some part of you gets the importance of clearing your essence with the ecosystem, appro ecosystem approach, mark your calendar. This is Living Lighter Radio. is every week. Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can't listen at that time, our show is recorded, and you can go to our website, www.livinglighter.org, and look for the radio tab. You know, if you really want to have a better life and you want to make the world better, make a, make a decision to, to do clearing constantly, consistently, and specifically, and make that a part of your life. And here's the way you do it. You do it by signing up for our newsletter. Every week, we give you 
a little backstory about the show, about the topic of the show. But we also talk, we also give you clearings that are written out for you. And you can do those clearings every single day. You can do it multiple times a day. And um, um, it's free. All you have to do is go to our website at livinglighter.org, www.livinglighter.org. Go to the um, newsletter tab, and we just ask for your name and email address. Okay. And if you got a benefit today, go like us on Facebook. We're at livinglighter.org and Facebook. And uh, we always like to see those likes. I like to see those likes. Yeah, he, he does. By the way, I want to just remind um, um, any and all of the politicians, do me a favor. Um, send me an email. I'd love to, um, I'd love to connect and help you out. So um, we will connect next Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Transformation Talk Radio. You're listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. Wishing you a lifetime of living lighter. Thank you for listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly as we discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information, visit our website at www.livinglighter.org.